So have you fished about every one of these rigs out here? I don't think any human being has fished every one of them. Okay, every one within sight. Yeah, and every single one you can pull up to and catch snapper. No kidding. Oh yeah. But they're almost extinct. That's right. <laughs> Well, welcome to this episode of Addicted Fishing. We're sitting off of Venice, Louisiana right now, if the oil rig here didn't give it away. We're catching red snapper, red fish. What else you got down here? Jacks, hardtails, possibility of cobias coming through. You got king mackerel, you got sharks, you got white trout, you got on and on sheephead, etc. And if you've ever been to Venice, Louisiana, Venice Marina down there, you recognize this guy is Captain Kevin Beach. What's the name of your charter business? Mexican Gulf Fishing Company. Mexican Gulf Fishing Company. And MGFC. Nice. Now this is the first time I've ever fished the inshore rigs like this. Mm -hmm. Most of the time I'm out doing the, the big rigs, the floaters. I guess that's what you, your specialty is. That's kind of our little forte is yeah. the offshore pelagics, the yellowfin, you know, marlin, mahi. Marlins. Marlins. We don't get a whole lot of sales. Yeah. I guess they all just stay over there by y'all. But... There we go, here we go. There he is. Get him, get him. <laughs> that one might be a little bit better. Yeah, got some shoulders on that guy. Oh huh? yeah, that one there just grew up. Yeah. <laughs> I think the snapper school might have moved back yet. Oh yeah, baby, look at it go. That's a good one. That one there will keep. Yeah. Oh, don't go back now. That's a pretty fish. Yeah, so. I'm just trying to keep mine away from yours. Come here, dude. Oh, look at the little guy. You don't look at stripes on him. Uh huh. Uh, now you're allowed, what would you say, two a piece on these? Two per person, yes sir. Swimming mullet. I tell you what, everywhere I've ever fished, I have thrown that and I have caught fish on that right there. They're sucking it down pretty quick. Yes, sir, that one right there can go to the to the dinner table, I think. Yes, sir. And uh, toss a little guy. We'll see if we can get two more like that. That sounds like a winner to me, boss. Is that a pretty fish or what? What a beautiful, beautiful fish. Mm, yummy. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get this guy back. Y'all stay tuned. We're going to be right back with some more addictive fishing, Captain Kevin Beach, and whistles every 30 seconds, it seems like. <laughs> <laughs> Doing the fish dance. Oh yeah. Whatever it takes to catch a fish, that's what you have to do. Yeah, I agree. If I've got a dance and I've got moves. <laughs> I, I don't really want them on TV quite yet. It's gonna just ruin everything. You're afraid the auditions for dancing with the stars <laughs> <will> come out. <laughs> that's right. They haven't had a fishing person on there yet. Nope. Well, welcome back, folks. We're still sitting out here, and actually today is getting beautiful. The weathermen were wrong. It was supposed to be blowing 25 miles an hour, but it's not. It is absolutely beautiful and we are catching some fish. It's hard not to here. Yeah, you're not kidding. So are they all whistlers or are they all idiot? What I mean by whistlers is that thing is considered a whistler. So all the rigs and oil platforms out here that are unmanned, yeah. they're required to have whistles and lights on it going off 24 seven. Well, that's a good thing. Yeah, oh, around here we get all that fog. And you get out here over the warm gulf that's nice. Except for this ringing in my ears, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you say that thing tripods down, that butt high beat? Uh, well, actually, that one starts up high. The other one's a single pipes. You'll have legs kicking out at about a 30 degree angle. Yeah. Just to give it more lateral support for waves and wind. Mm. Uh. What is that? Feels like a... As long as it's not a blue marlin, you'll be happy. <laughs> Feels like a fish. <laughs> Feels like a red fish. <sighs> All right, I guess I'll give you a hand. Still got a little while yet, I think, with this guy. Yeah, but if I leave this in the water too long, it's gonna get eaten. Look, high drill out in the middle of the Gulf of Mexico. <clears throat> but 
Don't stick your finger in his gills. No. <laughs> there you go. That is a strong fish. Are they all as mad as he was? <laughs> Most right of them are. These red fish here pull twice as hard as the ones do in Florida. Adios. Let him go make some babies. Yeah. He just fed. Now he's ready to go breed. I've actually been wanting to do this since I saw uh, Roland Martin doing it. Ooh, God, that was a good idea. Except I think Roland was on the uh, east side. Yeah. Because he had clean water. <laughs> <laughs> Not what we're in today. Not. Keeps us on our toes around here. Definitely. What we're seeing is the water going that way on top, but underneath it's going that way. It's a pretty weird scenario. There we oh, go. Fish on uh -oh. already. Yeah, I need some stink on. You gotta get that stink on, buddy. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He's so angry. So angry. He's as angry as the redfish around here. <laughs> He's just all the way to the bottom and just tap tap. Uh, no, he stopped it on the way down. Uh-oh. Probably well, about you 30 know it feet. Ain't a, a blue runner, huh? No. And if it is, it's the one we want to catch, huh? <laughs> Come on now. Almost acting Kobe-ish, maybe. Uh, head shake? Nah, that's a good snapper, I believe. Now, Louisiana, you're allowed how many snapper? You got two snapper over 16. I got a feeling this one might be over 16. I think it might be. How's that eight footer feel? Oh, <laughs> loving it. It makes it fun. <laughs> I'm loving it. Yeah. Come on, man. Come on, let's see some color. I guess you gotta wait until you're about three feet before you see color, yeah. huh? Three feet, you're being generous. <laughs> <laughs> oh, coming up. You would do that for me. You're such a sweetheart. Man, there we go. Good oh, fish. Oh, that's a good one. That'll work. I'd say that's one for the box, huh? Yes, sir. Oh, he's got a wing. <laughs> <laughs> Red snapper. Yes, sir. Captain Kevin Beach right off of Venice, Louisiana. Yes, sir. We're going to get some more of these guys today. You watch this. We're not interrupted by that thing too much. Y'all stay tuned. We're going to be right back with some more addictive fishing right off of Venice, fishing the rigs with Captain Kevin Beach. We'll be right back. Good job, brother. All right. What is that swimming? Turtle. See the turtle? Yeah. We're going to see if there's a Kobe on his belly or something. The hummingbird is lit up. Well, welcome back, folks. We're sitting at a new rig now. This one's a little bit quieter than that last one over there, but. Uh, We've about caught all the fish we're gonna catch today, but we're gonna show you hopefully one more biggin. One more biggin. Well, you got about everything that swims down there, right? Pretty much. Well, our main target right now, since we're not in Florida, is the uh, red snapper, because right now in Florida, it's closed. Has been for about seven years, because there's some crazy people and they make the laws that think red snapper's about extinct, and they are not. They are no, not. not at all. We can't hardly grouper fish anymore. Shallow water grouper with all the red snapper around. We got the same problem. I know guys that actually take paper bags with a rubber band, mm -hmm. and put their bait in a paper bag with in a weight. Once they get it down past below the snapper, because there's so many snapper, they shake it <laughs> and that bag disintegrates and their bait's down below the snapper and they're catching anything that swims underneath them. Uh oh. Uh-oh. Oh, that'd, that'd be a good snapper here. That'd be a real good snapper, I bet. Let's hope so, anyway. Starting off right. I went and tried the old uh, flute tail. You stayed with the mullet. No, I'm... Something about if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Yeah, I know, but I just like trying other things. Ah, I hear you. After you catch 7,000 of them, <laughs> trying something different. 
I guess there is a trigger fish or two still down there. Yeah, buddy. Oh, he ain't that big, but. He ain't that big. Just an angry guy. He thought he was a lot bigger than that, but he is a keeper. Yeah. You let the sides go back or not? Ah, uh, tell you what, we'll go ahead, we'll just keep that one. Well, you don't need those real strong ones out there breeding. <laughs> <laughs> they got to be 20 pounds, you'll never land them. There we go, another red snapper. He's trying to be a sheephead with his stripes. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty fish. I guess I'm gonna tie me on a uh, swimming mullet again. Uh, imitation is the most sincere form of flattery. <laughs> They're the hardest damn baits to rig. I knew that was gonna happen. Nah, I did also. <laughs> Always happens when I'm rigging new baits. I wouldn't say it feels like another good one, but. <laughs> I turned his head before he gets me in that rig. Ah! Rigged ya? I guess I'm in a penalty box now, You're boss. In a penalty box now. You know one thing good about out here? What's that? No horse flies. That's a beautiful thing. How long you been fishing out here now? I've been full time guiding for 17 years now. And you said you're from New Orleans? From just outside of New Orleans in Metairie. Parents came down every single weekend. Fishing with the old man, you know, in the wintertime we go duck hunting, goose hunting, pig hunting. We had a fish on the line, we didn't bother him very much. <laughs> uh oh. I think this is a good one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's called pushing it to the limits right there. Yeah, he just realized he was up. Oh yeah. Got a little red snapper fish. I wish somebody would pull their head out of where the sun don't shine and open up the season a little bit better. Where you get more than six days in Florida. Is that the federal season, is that? Six days. This one's feeling kind of funny, because it's a redfish. Big old red. <laughs> I can't get away from him, brother. Oh. You need a hand with that one there, boss? Nah, I grab him. I'm used to these puppies. Come here, dude. You ever have any bull sharks come up here? Uh, not so bad on this side. On the east side, they get real bad. Uh, right outside the pass? Yeah. I mean, you'll reel up head after head and just get tired of it. One of my favorite lures. About that for a redfish in 60 foot of water, huh? I said, I bet that's what was showing up on Hummingbird. Hey, I've had a few comments about how I hold fish about you know people saying I have my fingers in their gills. If you look where I hold every fish and you think I got my hand in their gills, I'm not even touching their gills. Maybe right there a little bit, but that's the part you don't want to stick your fingers all the way through and damage that fish. So I slide up right on the inside of his cheek and I hold them like that. Never, never touching their gills. But uh, that, my friends, is a good redfish. And he's a gone redfish. And that's how it's done, brother. Amen. Appreciate that. Redfish, red snapper, Jack Carvel, waiting for the elusive cobia. I'm gonna have to re-rig, y'all stay tuned. We're gonna be right back from Venice, Louisiana, Captain Kevin Beach, and who knows what else from the last rig of the day. On today's Rig It Right segment, I'm gonna show you what Captain Kevin and I were out there using today. But first, I wanna talk a little bit about Kevin. He's one of those guys, when you meet him, it seems like you've known him your whole entire life. And that's pretty much what it was. It was the first time we'd ever fished together. I've been going down to Venice for going on 20 years now, but never had a chance to meet. And the first time we get to meet, we get to fish together. We started out throwing the eight footer. It's the inshore model. We had it rigged with 30 pound test Smackdown by Seaguar, also using 40 pound to 60 pound test Seaguar fluorocarbon leader and throwing one of my favorite baits everywhere I've ever been in my entire life, I've thrown this bait right here and I've caught fish on it. 
It's a DOA swimming mullet. It's a three quarter ounce. The first spot that we hit, it was about 150 feet and the current was ripping pretty good and we couldn't get the baits right down to them. So we went into the shallower rigs. We stayed with the eight footers just because we were having so much fun with the red fish and the red snapper, the big Jack Crevel, just a plethora of fish, what we like to say down there. But uh, had an awesome time. Kevin liked throwing the, uh, the root beer one and I was throwing the white one a lot and it was definitely getting the job done. As Kevin says, hey, they're snapper. If they're hungry, they're gonna eat. You ever get a chance to fish with him? Look him up on the web. It's Mexican Gulf Fishing Company and uh, book you a trip with Captain Kevin Beach. Remember one thing though, every fishing season starts right here at Dick's. Rig It Right by Wright and Miguel. Is he getting bit? Uh, he came and ate it and I pulled it right out of his mouth like a knucklehead. Take it and put it back in his mouth. Well, that was the plan. Come back and eat it. You get some good kingfish on these, don't you? Mm-hmm. Not in the 60s, though, do you? Can you say the world record red snapper came from here? Yeah, it was a little over 50 pounds. It was actually probably only about five miles from here, further out in federal waters. A little bit deeper water. That's a big snapper. Yeah, it was. Anywhere. It was. But we caught a bunch in the 30s, you know, probably two dozen over 40. But, uh, yeah, that's when we're fishing a big trophy fish like that, yeah. we're generally fishing a little bit deeper water. But, you know, since, since we're in the bay boats, we ain't going out that deep. <laughs> <laughs> the 24 skeeter, you could. But, you know, we're fishing a lot deeper water, yeah. fishing for that one trophy fish instead of the 17,000 fish that we've caught today. But, yeah, I mean, with all this river water, all the nutrients coming up, I mean, the bait fish, you've seen the birds flipping all over the place. I've been out here, you know, crossing back and forth between here and Grand Isle, you know, following the coastline, but the pogey pods y'all got? Oh, yeah. I yeah. thought we had pogey schools. <laughs> <laughs> and that's, you know, that, the estuary is a breeding ground for all that. That's what makes this fishery what it is. You know, fish aren't real difficult. Yeah. They want to feed. They want to eat and Breed. And breed. Not a bad life. That's <laughs> why I got my puff ones here. I don't see my gills. <laughs> I'm gonna grow me some gills. <laughs> I just need me some gills and some lips. <laughs> mm -hmm. I just wanted mm. to make sure the host caught the last fish. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, no. I say that as I throw right back out. <laughs> I think we got another redfish. Hopefully it's a red something. That might be a snapper there. How about Goliath? Do you have Goliath? Obviously not, because these guys would be getting eaten if you had Goliath. I think the divers back in the heyday kind of knocked most of them out of here. I can be lucky a, for that. I've done a lot of diving, and I've only seen two. What is it? What is it? What is it? Gonna be a big old red. Big old red. Is it a red fish or a red snapper? It's a red snapper. Hey, hey. Well, sir, I guess we're gonna put this one in the box. Since this one's going in the box, I'm not even gonna lean down for him. Right on the deck, brother. It's a beautiful thing. That is a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful fish. Oh, I can taste the fillets now. All done today on the swimming mullet. Yes, sir. I tried a few other baits, but uh, just absolutely could not get it done. It's gonna be tough getting that one out. Listen, if y'all ever wanna come try to fish with Kevin Beach, this man knows the area. He knows every, he said he's fished every single rig with inside out here, so. Multiple, Multiple times. And uh, y'all get used to that going off when you're out here too, but. Definitely come stay at Cajun Fishing Adventures. You can definitely have a good time there. Great food and uh, great people to stay with. Yes, there. sir, definitely. So uh, come to Venice, Louisiana. You can get you some red snapper. Don't forget about the website, addictivefishing.com. Send us your, uh, your favorite Instagram picture there on the hashtag show your Mogan. Until next week, I don't know where we're gonna be, but we'll be somewhere catching fish. Tight lines. Check out more footage from this show by logging on to AddictiveFishing.com for outtakes and bloopers. Triggerfish, low plastic. There he is, give him the float test. Woo! Cue the horn. 
That was a cast. There is no Dana, only Zool. <laughs> <laughs>